So a few months ago, I packed my bags and I got on a plane and I flew to Michigan because my cousin was getting married. And I'm sitting in the chapel and this fat, froggy-looking preacher in a cheap suit going on about something, and I start to get a little freaked out because it turns out the entire wedding industry is absolutely fucking insane, starting with the fact that there is an entire wedding industry. People will spend years planning these things, and they make sure they get every last detail perfect, even though they know goddamn well that when the day finally arrives, somebody's going to get drunk at the reception and wind up ruining everything. I mean, just as an example, does anyone actually care what your invitations look like? I mean, why do people spend so much time on this? You think your family's going to stop liking you if you use the wrong kind of overpriced cardstock? You could just go down to the fucking mall and buy a box of Scooby-Doo party invites and send those out, and that would not bother me. If anything, I'd be more likely to show up. I might even dress up like Shaggy. I mean, and then there's the dress, and the cake, and the terrible reception food, and the fucking DJ. I mean, the chicken dance is bad enough, but when the hell did wedding music get all country on us? I went to a wedding a couple of years ago, and it was all Tony Bennett and play that funky music and shit, and I could handle that. I show up at this one, and it's like Toby Keith vomited skull juice over the whole thing. I mean, maybe I sound elitist here, but if I'm getting married, I want the music to be performed by people whose shirts still have the original sleeves attached. And when I go up there to ask the guy to play a song, I mean, the fucker doesn't even have it. Looking back on it, it's probably good that I wasn't allowed to pick out the music. But would that have been any worse than making everybody sit through that creepy-ass Butterfly Kisses song? Is it worse than making the bride and groom get up for the first dance of the night so you've got everyone staring at these two kids trying to act casual while they stumble their way through some generic slow jam? And if I have to do that, then screw it, I'm not getting married. I slow dance like a fucking 8th grader. I just sway back and forth and hope nobody notices I have a boner. I mean, look, it's really nice that two people can like each other enough to make a formal commitment. But do we really need all the crap that goes along with it? I mean, just give your guests an open bar and some free cheese and don't make them sit in church for too long. You get love, we get booze, everyone is happy. Oh, and, uh, P.S. Ladies, I am available. It's